tough to uh, tough to back it up. But you know, you're playing the show open, so any second you get to get out there, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So it's pretty pumped. What are the initial feelings after that one? Yeah, I think uh, Dusan played played too good for me today. I think um, you know he's a top thirty player in the world, so. I was just happy I had the opportunity to play against him and see where my game's at. Um, but uh, yeah, got a few things I need to work on. So um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking forward to getting back on the practice court now. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that you, you know, that you have taken away yeah. from this tournament that you really want to focus on? Yeah, I think he's he served a lot better than me tonight. He he his spots pretty well and put me on defence a lot. So I think I'll watch the footage again and see if I can work on my service placement a little bit and see if I can find a few more holes in his game for next time but um, other than that from the baseline I, f- I felt like we're pretty similar um, but he, he was moving a lot better than me and I, I think he was he, he was ready to go so um, so just got to keep working on my movement side yeah. Do you feel like um, you know it sort of sets you up for a pretty good year or what, what are you, where are you going to sort of next I guess from here? Yeah, so I'm going to try to play uh, some of the American tour events coming up. I think it's New York and Delray Beach, and there's a few more afterwards, but I haven't quite looked at those. Um, but I've decided I think I'm most likely to play those ones or go to Asia and play the Challenges, which I did last year. Um, and I had some good results in those ones, so I'm not quite sure which, which way it's going to go, but I think I'll most likely try to play the, the, the America bigger, bigger ones then. I feel like this week's been a major breakthrough for you. First Grand Slam victory against a top 100 player and then you back it up with a real competitive performance yeah. against a top 30 player, as you mentioned. Do you, does that give you the confidence and the belief that you can, you know, get to that next level and match it with some of the best? Definitely. Yeah, yesterday was, um, I think, a really big turning point. Um, you know, to win a first ma- my first match in a Grand Slam, it's always a big, big confidence booster and... Uh, Considering I lost first round here last year, to go one more step further was was a great feeling. Um, but yeah, at this Grand Slam level, you need to be able to back it up. So uh, that's something I need need to work on. But definitely, it's set me up for the rest of the year to uh, hopefully give me the confidence to match it with the top 100 players. Definitely. Do you? Um, I mean, you got a nice paycheck out of the first round victory. Yeah. What I mean, just do you need to just. Does that just all go back into the coffers in terms of paying for your everything that you do, or do you treat yourself at all? Yes, um, you know tennis is a pretty pretty expensive sport. Each week we travel into a new country, so I'm going to invest in myself. Um, invest in maybe uh, getting a um, fitness trainer or um, someone to travel with me more frequently, because uh, I believe you know some of the top guys have a big big team and which helps them perform well. So. I'm gonna, you know, save save a lot of it. Um, I want to be playing tennis for the next ten years, hopefully. So, you know, don't want to blow it all already. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm happy. Uh, got a bit of money to in, invest myself. Yeah, it must be hard to like people think of tennis players as being really wealthy or whatever. But you know, there's a bit of a gap, isn't there? Like yeah. you see the the ones yeah. at the top, and you need the money, I guess, to make that next step. Definitely. Yeah. Um, the top 100 guys you know they're earning very good very good money and the guys maybe outside maybe not quite as much but yeah that's the way the sport the sport works so uh, hopefully I can keep making that gradual improvement um, so now I'm close to the top 100 I think so hopefully I can keep having some decent results to come do your goals and aspirations for the year change after a week like this where you get that breakthrough yeah, not not really. Um, I just my goal coming to this tournament was to try to get past the first round. So I'm happy I was able to accomplish that. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm going to look forward to the next Grand Slams, the next uh, next three. Hopefully, I can get through the qualifying there. That will be my next my next goal. But uh, now it's focus on the doubles, which which, which begins tomorrow. Sorry if you've answered this already, brother. No worries. What happened to you? Well, it wasn't quite sunny enough tonight. Um, <laughs> You know, I was thinking about wearing it, but the sun wasn't out. I was kind of playing in a semi semi stadium, so I didn't feel like it was had the need to. But maybe that was uh, one of the reasons why I couldn't quite get a set tonight. Go back on, mate. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Next time, maybe. How'd you enjoy the crowd out there tonight? Oh, it was cool. No, it was definitely cool. Um, you know, they had some good Serbian supporters for him and Aussie Aussie crowd for me. So it was it was awesome. Helped us both to try to play our best tennis. Um, 
you know, he, he fed off it very well and I was trying to trying to get pumped up. But um, you know, yesterday is the same, the crowd was unreal. So I think that's something you can expect at your at the home grand slams, yeah. Should we disappointed now, Mark, but has this been a positive experience for you? I mean, do you feel like this has been a step forward? Do you yeah. have that positive attitude about it? Yeah, no, it has. Um, you know, it's always tough to lose, obviously, but I'm going to look back on it. I had a great win yesterday, so it's always tough to turn it around after a great win, and then you have to back it up the next day. So I knew that was going to be a challenge. Um, so it's definitely disappointing being out of the singles draw, but like I said, still got another match tomorrow, so hopefully I can keep my run a little bit longer.